What's happening, people? It's O'Shea. Um, yeah, I got asked this because one of my mates was listening to Sprungy's battle rap resume. Um, and he hadn't heard anything about the, the Sprungy is dead situation that happened. Um, so I said to him, I'll let him know, but I'm going to do a video because I don't think half of the people know what happened. I'm trying to do a few of these stories that people don't really know that's happened behind the scenes and that, but... So, but yeah, let me give you a bit of back, back up information so you know how it became involved. Basically, me and, obviously me and Spungy are both from Liverpool, both from different areas of Liverpool. I'm from the Smithtown Road area, which is pretty central. Um, if anyone's seen that £1 houses programme, that's the area. Um, Sprungy's from an area called Chilwell, Belle Vale, which is towards the south of the city. Um, I got a job in the Belle Vale Morrisons um, Belvale's right is Sprungy's school that he went to is right next to the shop. So a lot of the lads who Sprungy went to school with worked in that shop. That's how I ended up getting to know Sprungy because they were saying, Oh, we know a lad who raps as well, basically. Um so then we met each other and we became friends through our mutual hip hop connections and all shit like that. Um so fast forward, fast forward a few years. Sprungy's going to Australia. Before he's going to Australia, he's getting like a load of work done on his house. Um, randomly one day I'm on I'm on Facebook um, and Sprungy's put a status up saying can't believe I'm in the ghetto something like that so I'd replied back saying what do you mean you went oh, I'll move I've had to move house because um, it's getting done up so I've said like, well, like where do you move to and he's put off Lawrence Road that's where I live and I've said oh, off Lawrence Road yeah and he said I live off Lawrence Road and you know yeah I'm on a road called Duh -duh -duh, which is the exact same road I'm born and raised on I was like, fucking hell are you, yeah? And then he was like, what number? And I was like, 37. And his number was like 41. So I've looked out the window and the fucking cunt's there. He's, we're in the same street and literally, so my house is here. His house isn't directly opposite, but it's two doors away. So we're in. I could shout him, you know what I mean? I could shout to him and speak to him. And um, this is terraced houses, small streets. So literally we're fucking 10 metres away from each other. So anyway, Sprungy goes to Australia. Um, he's there for a while. I'm working nights in Morrison's at this time. Then I get in. I get in my house one morning. Sprungy's gone to Australia now. He's into his trip. A while into his trip because I think this happened after Got Beef events. I think it did because I, I think Sprungy and Decoy fell out over this, but they were mates before this happened. Um. So yeah. So. He's gone over to Australia, and I'm on night. Um, I know his auntie and that from living in the street, but I didn't know that was his auntie. So I get up in the morning. I get home in the morning, and my mum's my mum's like, this is when I was back in my house for a year, back in my mum's house. My mum's like, um, Joan knocked last night, and she looked dead upset. It's like Joan, this is sprung his auntie. I was like, oh really? Yeah. So I'll go over and knock. I see. I've gone over and knocked, there's no answer. She's gone to work, this is like 10 in the morning or whatever. And the, the, the daughter, I, I don't need the names, her daughter hasn't an answered in there. So then, I had a phone, but it wasn't connected to the internet, it was a shitty phone, so I had to go on the computer, to go on the internet in my mum's house. So I've gone on a thing, and straight away, every single fucking message, every single thing on Facebook is, rest in peace, Sprungy. R.I.P. Sprungy. Um. And Sprungy's a good mate of mine at this time, so I've started getting dead worried. I think, oh, he's not dead, fucking hell, he was online a couple of days ago, what's he talking about, what's happened here? Um, so then, it turns out that Decoy had said he died. Uh, <laughs> it's funny now, like it wasn't funny at the time. But did Decoy basically spread a rumour that he died? Um, but Sprungy had just gone on one of these Australian back packing trips somewhere. So he was out in a in a wilderness, literally nowhere, no internet connection, no thing. So nobody had a clue. Nobody could get in touch with Sprungy to find out if he was alive. So obviously, when he's not answering, we didn't know he was on this backpacking trip. So when he's not answering, he hasn't answered this phone for three days. His family are thinking he's dead, but there's been no confirmation, no nothing, because obviously no one get in touch. Um, this has gone on for two or three days. 
people thinking he's dead. Now, obviously, like, because I've worked in Morrison's, I'm working with a lot of his boys, so his boys are getting in touch with me saying, have you heard anything, have you heard anything, have you seen anything, blah, 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 blah. And I was in the same boat as everybody, everyone was left. As far as we knew, Sprungy had died. Um, I remember going on to rapmusic.com, and I think 360 or someone like that was like a big name. I'd put on Paul Sprung's dead. Sprung has died. And obviously with him being... It was either 360 or anecdotes or something like that. It was an Australian one. And when I'd seen that, I actually thought, oh, it's, it's got to be fucking true. Because they were in, Aust obviously, the Australian ones. And then you're looking down it and, like, there's got the sorest disaster awkward. Everyone who used to be on rapmusic.com and they're all like, fuck, we were with them a couple of weeks ago because they were all over there at that Got Beef events. Madness and people like that. I was like, fucking hell, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Fucking so, like... I was gutted, obviously, because he was a good friend of mine. And the rumour I got sold, like, this is what I got sold that happened to him. That, I don't know how this got back to me. Decoy spread it. I didn't know how it got spread. I don't know what, I can't tell you that. I'm going to get Sprungy on to have a little word so he can tell you exactly from his point of view what he got sold and what happened. But I got sold that he was on a boat. <laughs> and the boat, like a speedboat, and he fell off the back. And another boat was <laughs> fucking... The propellers chopped them or something. Sounds fucking ridiculous now. But when you hear someone's dead and they're meant to be, and they're dead, do you know what I mean? Not, you, you, there's fucking millions of ways you can die. So, like, yes, yeah, so then, like, three days later, after this, the, the, the official, the original posting, sprung you just back online, like, what's happening? Um, Then I got in touch with them. Straight away, I said, listen, your family and there's your friends and your fucking... They think you're dead. A lot of them think you're dead. And he's like, I know, I've fucking put my phone on and I've had 60 missed calls as soon as I've got reception and fucking thousands upon thousands of messages saying, R.I.P. Sprungy, you were great. <laughs> oh, shit, like that. Um, yeah, so it, it turned out that decoy had... I don't know, I, I, I don't know what the, the situation with decoy was. I think, obviously, he was just playing about... Joking, I don't know if Decoy knew Sprung he was going to be off the map for a couple of day, for a week or so, um, or he was just playing about and it it, it was a coincidence that Sprung he was gone, nobody could get in touch with him, um, so yeah, that's the full story that I know from my end, um, Sprung he will get you, I'm gonna get Sprung on to try and do one for him to see he can tell you what he thought, but um, yeah. That's the bottom line, and it don't say people are dead when you can't get in touch with them because people think people are dead, lad. <laughs>